please help me welcome to the stage our next speaker, Lova Kramer. What's up, guys? So, how's everyone feeling? Good? Bad? Okay, cool. So, when I was prepping this speech, I wanted to share something that could leave an impact. And I guess what I want to share today is just one experiment I did about five years ago that kind of saved me from a burnout. And I'll take you back five years. And five years ago, I was studying in law school. I had seven or eight jobs because I didn't have a family, so I needed to provide myself through law school. And I was studying, and in the middle of studying, I kind of stop and I start breathing really bad. And I can't stop it, so I stop studying, and it kind of calms down, and then I go studying, and it gets worse. I go to a doctor, and my doctor says that I suffer from something called hyperventilation. And in that case, it was chronic hyperventilation, because I couldn't stop it. So he told me that I was burned out, and what followed was kind of three weeks that I just couldn't connect with people, I couldn't, I was just pretty much a zombie walking through life. And I suffered really badly, which kind of led me on a path where I wanted to fix myself. So I went to doctors, which is what we all do, and traditional medicine kind of left me hanging. There was some pills that they gave me, which really sucked, uh, and other pills that were addictive that I didn't even want to try. So I kind of went the other way, which is the way that we talk about in the Middle Ages, the healers that walk around in Germany and pick up Celtic coins somewhere in the forests. And I looked everywhere for those people and found them. And they're very weird, but I love them to death. And they showed me several things that I couldn't pronounce that kind of calmed me down. But it wasn't enough. I still suffered from the hyperventilation, even though I could slowly start controlling it. So I went the other extreme. I started traveling to the US, where a movement of so-called biohackers were happening. Uh, these are biology hackers. These were actual hackers. They just started treating their body as something, a system that they could hack. And I started buying a lot of these gadgets. Uh, at one point, I was hooked up to some computer with some electrodes on my brain, and it was trying to balance me out so that my emotional reactions would be different, so that I wouldn't overreact, so that my stress could lower. And after a lot of time and a lot of money, uh, nothing worked. I was getting the hang of it, I was starting to get a hang of controlling it, but it was still there. And then I was in a conversation with a friend. Um, we couldn't really figure it out, but this guy, He's the guy that does all the meditation courses, all the yoga retreats, and he was going on this 10-day retreat where all these people were just gonna be silent. Just silent, nothing else. At the end of the day, they eat once, but that's it. You don't even have eye contact. And I thought, I have to try this, but I don't have 10 days. I have two businesses to run, I have an investment fund, and there are all these startups, and people are going crazy. I can't afford 10 days. So what do I do? So I took those 10 days, I took the principle of the 10 days, and I chose one day a week, uh, the Sunday. I called it my silent day, and I used one principle that my mentor a long time ago taught me, which is consistency. I just wanted to be consistent enough and do it every week. So I, I tried it, every week on a Sunday, I would deep plug nothing, just no phone, uh, sometimes I read a book, but most of the time I wasn't doing anything. And then around five o'clock, six o'clock, I would start de-plugging out, start eating again. And what I noticed was that after two months, my hyperventilation for the first time in my life started <coughs> fading away. I then shared that with first my friends, then a community that I founded. And we started getting people that had chronic, chronic diseases that traditional medicine, just like me, couldn't fix. And this simple trick, I tried healers, I tried biohackers, and the simple trick fixed everything. It was so easy that I didn't even think about it. And at the end of the day, I just wanna, if, if there's one question that I could ask you that potentially would make you remember this speech, because we don't remember a lot of speeches, and if I want you to remember one thing of this speech is, what would happen if you would deep plug for at least one day a week, or even five seconds a day, 
where you just breathe. Does it have to be meditation? I don't like meditation. It's just deep plug in. <laughs> just relax one day a week and you do it consistently, you never stop. How much more productive would you actually become? <laughs>